tonight we are going to be talking briefly 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 on the topic the mystery of evil dedication the mystery of evil dedication before we start make sure if you are tuning in joining us begin to share begin to share at least five people share it right now on your facebook page if you are using youtube forward it to somebody through their test whatsapp share this message because it will be a blessing to somebody share it and help us spread the word of the lord in the name of jesus that is your simple contributing contribution to helping us spread the kingdom of god that is your part so help us to make jesus popular in the name of jesus just click share and then forward it to somebody and invite somebody to join in and they will learn something which may turn their lives around the mystery of evil dedication the issue of uh, the mystery when your life is surrounded by mysteries and you don't unravel and decode the mystery of your problem it will keep you still experiencing misery whenever you have a mysterious issue problems or things going on around you and you don't unravel it it is not on earth unveiled the lord does not give you a revelation to the root of your problem the mystery the the, the mystery will cause miseries the mysteries the misery the mysteries will cause misery your life becomes miserable because your life is filled with mysteries things you don't even understand why you can't get married why you can't get a job why you are not making progress why you are not succeeding why you are constantly having nightmares bad dreams of seeing yourself back home where you were born why you keep on seeing yourself naked why you keep on seeing a spirit coming to sleep with you why you keep on seeing a snake a dog a cat a vulture a hyena a lion a tiger some mysterious being or masquerade chasing you why you keep on encountering a madman a mad lunatic in your dream why you keep on experiencing rejection disappointment and failure why the setback why the delay why the sickness why the attacks why all because there are mysteries mysteries a mystery means that something is hidden from you a mystery is something which is hidden from you and you don't understand it or you don't know it but this time the mysteries is causing miseries in your life you are fasting you are praying you are giving you are doing everything but nothing seems to be working in fact the more you are trying to do right the more things are going wrong you are claiming it is well it is well it is well but mystery mystery will cause you to be in the well even though you are saying it is well you are in the well you are in the well in the pit in the well even though you are saying it is well because your life is filled with mysteries 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 brings about miseries and what you don't unravel and what you don't know will always be used against you so it's important that the lord shines light in our darkness the lord gives you truth and truth is light last time minister esther was reading his uh, scriptures bible studies and the bible says as jesus was teaching people were receiving their deliverance yes. why because the teaching the bible says that true knowledge the righteous will be delivered proverbs chapter 11 verse 9 so knowledge is powerful knowledge brings about light knowledge brings about revelation you can be praying all sort of prayers but as long as you are praying a wrong prayer and that prayer is not tailored towards the specific issue you are going through it will be in vain because you are not even praying the right prayers because 
you 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 don't even know the source the root of your problem mysteries and i'm still using the book spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis all i'm doing is to help you this year to understand what you are up against what you are going through so that you can better deal with it spiritual diagnosis it says understanding the mystery behind your misery understanding the mystery behind your misery i will encourage everybody to make sure you have this book if you want to understand spirituality get this book the first book i ever got uh, i ever wrote the very first book the lord began to reveal to me the spiritual world and as i understood i wrote it down as i understood i wrote it down the different topics and the different things that we are up against and from that point we are building it from there spiritual diagnosis get it it will help you you can get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com in the ebook or Z uh, kindle form and start reading and get understanding understanding the mystery behind your misery otherwise you don't understand why you are attempting and doing your best to do the right things but all the wrong things are happening you are born again but everything is against you you are born again but everything is against you you are saying it is well but you find yourself in the well you love the lord but the battles you are going through you don't even know where it's coming from the more you fast the more attacks you experience in your dreams the more you pray the more they beat you up in your dreams because you don't understand So tonight we are, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will give you understanding, illumination, revelation that will bring about revolution. Revolution. Illumination, revelation, understanding. Then your life will be revolved you'll be seeing transformation and you'll walk in your deliverance. Do you want to read that scripture? Yeah, the, the scripture that Jesus just spoke and deliverance took place, that is in Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. Matthew 8, verse 16. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirit with a word and healed all who were sick he cast out with his word it is very important that you take your bible studies the scriptures Serious. seriously that is where your deliverance is if you are not serious with your scriptures then don't be you are not ready for true deliverance now let's look into this topic mystery of evil dedication as i defined mystery is anything that has been hidden from you and the devil always operate in mysteries in secrecy and in darkness this is how the devil works he works in miseries secrecy and in darkness because he doesn't want you to find out the root cause of your problems to be able to address it you also operate in darkness because in, in dark hours, that's where people are sleeping and are unconscious and are not active, more vulnerable. That's the time the devil also operates in darkness. Secrecy. Whatever the devil does, he's doing it in the cover of the dark, hidden because he knows his way, ways are not right. So he, he does that's what we call secret societies. Every serious evil society is secretive. They don't reveal to you what they do and what they're about. That's why a real witch, a, a real witch, 
a real wizard, a real occultist, a real spiritualist who is deep and diabolic, they don't reveal their identity. All those who make uh, doing showcasing and running their mouth and displaying their light wit, deep rooted spiritualist occultist and people who are deep into satanism they keep it hidden they don't expose who they are to you in fact they will not give you any clue about who they are so that they can secretly finish you destroy you without any treat trace or recognition or realization so major agents are very secretive and are very pretentious. They will let you see the light, the, 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 the good part of them, the charismatic part of them. They will pretend to you that they are very good, but in the secret, they are into witchcraft. In secrecy, they practice sorcery. In secrecy, they will be destroying your destiny. So don't think that a witch, a serious witch fighting you will come and tell you, I'm a witch. Anybody who tells you they are a witch, it means that they just heard it, saw it, and they are trying to practice it, and they are not serious. Serious witches don't reveal their identity. Serious occultist who sacrifices people for rituals to advance in position, in promotion, in, in, in wealth, and they don't reveal to you their secret plans. Secret societies that do damages to destinies, communities, and territories, they don't come and tell you that this is who we are. No, 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 no. Maybe you can search for it, but they will not be making noise about it. And even when you enter in, you will think that it's a good society. Only those in the top knows the diabolic things that goes on. They will only show you the nice, the philanthropic part of it. Oh, we are into Freemason and we've been giving some handouts and some money uh, to give scholarships to children who are suffering. Oh, if you want to join the Illuminati, we'll, they will show you the, 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 the good part. They will not show you that once you come in, your life is at stake. You will be sacrificing your family members and that will make sure that every child... They will not tell you the dark part. They will only show you the, 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 the good part, the deceptive part, which is acceptable. And that's why the masses are de deceived and follow many ministries, many people, because they show you the good part until you go deep and you realize that, wow... I have sold my soul to the devil. Mystery of evil. Evil is anything that is bad. That is not working for you, working against you. Evil is anything that is contrary against the will, the purpose of Christ Jesus, the purpose of God. Mysteries of evil dedication. Now, what is dedication? When we talk about mystery of evil dedication, what is dedication in the first place? To, ded to dedicate is to devote. I'm dedicated is to be devoted or to devote your time your effort or oneself to a particular task or purpose i'm devoted and dedicated into prayer and deliverance i'm dedicated and even the deliverance i'm more dedicated in the people being empowered and empowering them to also do their personal ministries. So I'm not dedicated in, I'm not called to be an intercessor praying for nations. It is not my zone, it's, it's not my niche. So if we bring it up, I'll deal with it one minute and that's it because that is not what God has called me. I have a specific task. Maybe you are called to be praying for the nations. You are called to be praying for your country you are called for to pray for everybody and every issue and tsunami and haiti and praying for everything that is your call my call is to help people deal with obstacles hindrances and to push them to pray and to receive their deliverance and once you are delivered whatever god has called you to do you do it but don't come and impose your call upon me that because we pray we should pray for everything no 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 you have to be in your lane john the baptist knew who he was called to be he was what to prepare the way he was the called way. specifically to prepare the way Jesus. he didn't perform any miracles john didn't he was a prophet carried the anointing of elijah but didn't 
perform any miracle. He just came, prepare you the way for Christ Jesus. The kingdom of God is at hand. Be baptized and put your way. He's coming, Jesus. That is his call. And he, he was focused. Some of you are everywhere, trying to do everything just because it is a good thing. You are wasting your life. Find out your specific assignment. If you are called to the nations, then keep on praying for everybody. If you are called to be Mother Teresa, then keep on helping everybody. Keep on helping the more homeless. Keep on helping the charity. Keep on. That is your call. Everybody must find their specific niche call and then do it. Some of you are called to help the poor, help to the homeless, go to prisons, help. We are all to do, as Christians, as believers, we are to be able to do everything. But at the end, your call will be something God drives you to be to spend more time on that thing because that is your niche. So there are people who have love for prison ministry. There are people who have love for widows. There are people who have love for orphans. There are people who every day they will be praying for the president of the U.S. or their country. There are people who will be praying for women who are being abused. It's, it's your call. When you discover it, you focus on it. Do you understand? That is to be devoted. Dedication is to be devoted to a time to devote your time, your effort, your energy, yourself to a particular task or purpose. Oh, this person is dedicated. What are the three things we have on this? Committed, connected, connected and, and consistent. consistent. Yeah, it, it, it plays a role. We'll come to that. So, and when you do these things, three things, you'll be dedicated. If you are committed, connected and consistent as we always say up on the prayer line it will cause you to be all dedicated because another definition for dedication is commit to commit to something you are committed oh i'm committed to this prayer line and so some of, some people are so much committed to this prayer line that god causes me to change my sermons just to deal with their issues the Holy Spirit will change a sermon just to address their issue because they are dedicated, they are committed, they are consistent, they are coming on this prayer line saying, Lord, speak to me today. So sometimes I come on like yesterday and the Lord will change the whole sermon just to address with the person because God knows that this person, she has nowhere else to turn, she has nowhere else to go. She sees this platform as a place where I speak to them. And they are committed and dedicated. And therefore, I must use you to speak to them. So I plan to do something. God will say, shut up. Do, speak to her situation. Deal with her issue. And when I've dealt with her issue, you cannot do any other thing later on. Why? Because they are committed. Some of you, because you have no commitment. You are here, you are there, you are here, you are every day. When God is even speaking, you miss it. Because if you are supposed to be there, you are here. So when God is speaking to your man of God, you have missed it. If you are supposed to be here also, you are already listening to another person. So when God is speaking, so now I realize that people will call me after a service and they will come and waste my time and begin to lament all their problems. And I say, ah, were you on the prayer line yesterday? Everything you are describing and you are you are lamenting about, we addressed it the whole yesterday, prayed about it, and the word of the Lord was released to solve the problem. They were not no, they were nowhere to be found. Why no commitment, no dedication, no, no consistency, and no connectivity? Be very careful with your life. Find a place where you be committed. Stay put. The Bible says that there was a pool of Bethesda and any uh, and, and, and there was a man who was staying there for about 38 bad years he wasn't committed he wasn't consistent so anytime the angel comes to stay at the pool he will he was so distracted everywhere by the time he comes somebody has gone ahead of him and that's why some of you you are on the prayer line today tomorrow you are not you are you are not committed connected so a word will come a prophetic word will come to address your issue and you are nowhere to be found then later on they will call you like a, 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 a student who misses class or the time and then an exam is coming and he goes to see the professor professor please i didn't understand um this um uh, arithmetic and the professor which one didn't you understand oh professor can you go over all the course because i wasn't in class why were didn't you in class I, I didn't feel like coming you think what professor on this earthly world will waste another time to teach a, 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 a one student everything he has already taught just because the should the student feel to show up in class and some of us, that's how we are playing with our Christianity. Why we don't see progress. 
every single day you are hearing a word, it is preparing you for something that may be coming tomorrow. Every time you are hearing the word, it is building you up spiritually that someday when a, a challenge, a problem, an issue, an emergency comes, you will be fortified, strengthened to address that situation. No, people don't want to be committed, consistent, and connected. It is the set of emergency that they want to dis disturb your peace because they were not responsible. Eagles don't do that and lions don't do that. On this prayer platform, our strategy is different. We teach you to be committed, connect, connected and consistent and you'll be ready for every battle ahead. So dedication, we are still dealing with the word dedication. To be devoted to time, effort, oneself, to a particular task or purpose to be devoted to commit to commit when you commit something to an, a person or you give something to somebody it is dedication to pledge i pledge to pledge by a, a, even a vow is also dedication to give i give this to you i dedicate it to you i give over this to you i dedicate i surrender oh i surrender my life to you jesus you have dedicated your life to jesus to set aside oh this this oh this this is my 10 percent of my tithe this is my offering this is my sacrifice i am putting it aside it's for god i'll not touch it i'll not eat it i'll not use it for my peruvian hairstyle or my monkey donut that is this money is dedicated for god oh i've dedicated set aside 11 p.m eastern time 4 a.m london 5 a.m europe it is my set aside time to pray i will not pick the phone i'll not talk to my girlfriend i'll not it is time for prayer and that time i am engaging other christians to pray it is the time on the prayer line i will not exchange it for anything because i have 24 hours i've used all the hours for other this is my time of refilling this is my time of empowerment this is my time of fellowshipping this is my time of building my spiritual muscles because i'm a spiritual entity the bible says man shall not live by bread alone by by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god so you cannot just be eating the physical food and be doing physical things you must also feed yourself every day spiritually and this is what god has raised this platform that every day we meet to also feed ourselves spiritually now, how do you, a spiritual, you are a tripi, tripartite personality, tripartite, body, soul, and spirit. You are feeding your body, you are feeding your soul. Now, what about your spirit? And you want to, I don't have time to come on the prayer line. I don't have time to pray. If you don't have time to pray, you are going to be deficient spiritually and you will deal with spiritual entities you cannot face. Why? Because you are a tripartite. Feed your flesh, feed your soul, and feed your spirit also. Otherwise, you are going to be in trouble. And unfortunately, the powers we are fighting against, they are not in the flesh. They are not in the soul. They are spiritual. So you better make time. Set some time aside and dedicate it for your spiritual upgrade. There are people who wake up every day, midnight, 3 a.m. and meditate. They meditate and do enchantment until they le levitate. They meditate and do enchantment until the astral project. They meditate and levitate until they invoke demons to come and fortify them for their daily activities you your one hour time or two hour time of spiritual you want to give excuses why you don't want to pray you don't want to fast you don't want to read your word no wonder every demon in town every witch in town has access to do whatever they want to do with you so please as i told you this year we are only for the serious ones the eagles and the lions and everybody who is a techie, you are being converted into becoming a, 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 an eagle by force in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Evil dedication. Dedication also is to give, to give over, to surrender, to set aside, allocated, and then to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to sacrifice. Now we are going to find out evil dedication. Many times there's been evil dedication of we human beings being given over to spirits without our knowledge. You, before you were even born, your family, your parents, 
your ancestors can dedicate you to an altar to a shrine to a deity and all these deities are demons and fallen angels they can give you to that deity and now that deity begins to have legal rights over your life and the affairs of your life and make decisions on your behalf without your input why because before you even came out somebody had already dedicated you giving you over that's why the word giving you over somebody has sacrificed you to their idol but Rebecca, i never did that <laughs> you are going to learn you don't have to do anything somebody can do it for you you will be sold before you were even born you will be sold before your mother even was born and you and your mother and your father are all dedicated to a certain idol how many of you will tell me that the current spirit husband that comes to sleep with you that comes to molest you and defile you did you ever remember the last time you consented and agreed to marry that spirit husband do you remember when you decided to marry oh you spirit husband i love you i want you to marry me and i want you to come and have sex with me every evening oh you spirit wife you are so beautiful i want you to come and marry me so that every evening we can have sex how many of you remember a day a time an event where you chose to invite or covenant and ask that spirit to come and be sleeping with you none but yes still they come every day in the week to come and have sex with you how many of you told a spirit that every time i sleep come in and come and suffocate me and oppress me and cause me to be having strange dreams but yes still without your permit they violate you and still come in and do as they please against you your will it is letting you know that you have been already dedicated to that spirit and that spirit have dominion over you and that's why they keep on determining whether to shut your womb to make you barren they determine to stop you from getting your education finished you've been in school for so long you can't graduate you've been to two so school long you keep on failing some course and it has always delayed you you have tried and taken many exams you keep on failing because that spirit that you've been dedicated to says that you do not let you ever prosper get a job get married be pre pregnant or ever marry this is what is called evil dedication when you against your consent and your permit another spirit is linked to you married to you and have control dominion influence over your life and you you can't do anything about it evil dedication you are not now why do we say evil because we have dedication to god and we have dedication to the devil but we are dealing with evil dedication because this time you are being dedicated given over to the devil and his demon or fallen spirit or altars or idols and now they are fighting your life but i'm praying but i love the lord until you get understanding to this mystery the misery continues yes last time i think last two weeks or last week we talked about zachariah a high priest standing in front of god's presence in the front of an angel and yes the satan was standing at his right hand accusing him because he had placed on him an, an evil filthy cloth or garment if you don't understand the mystery you will suffer you will pray and pray and pray you will finish this 40 days fasting and still the same problem persists you will give and give and give and still you the more you are praying the more they are fighting you what is the mystery evil dedication but today 
the Lord is shining light in your darkness. Amen. The Lord is bringing you revelation. Amen. So that every evil dedication that has gone on against your life and destiny, today, that evil dedication will be revoked and be broken. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every satanic dedication. Every satanic dedication. Every demonic dedication. Every demonic dedication. Any ancestral dedication. Every ancestral to dedication. To any evil idol. To any evil idol. Evil altars. Evil Today, today, by the power, by the power in, the name in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ I, revoke, I revoke, I reverse, I reverse the, evil dedication, the evil dedication and I break it, and I break it off, my life, off my life in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. The first evil dedication you got to work on, everybody. You got to work on it. If you don't work on this, it doesn't matter how high you go in life. They'll bring you so low. Is the evil dedication of your foundation. The evil dedication of what? Of your foundation. Of your foundation. No building can rise without a foundation. No house is built without a foundation. And the, your foundation determines the height you can go. If you have a faulty foundation, a weak foundation, you can't build. And that's why setting buildings collapse because the foundation wasn't strong and the foundation wasn't very deep some of us we don't work on our foundation and we just want to build success and prosperity so it doesn't matter how much money you made how many school you went you got the school all right you finished school but you can't get a job you got married all right but you can't enjoy your marriage you, you are you are get you are getting paid all right but you don't know where the money is going you 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 why? Because your foundation. You have never dealt with your foundation. 40 evil, demonic, generational foundation. You must deal with your foundation first. Evil dedication from your foundation. Evil dedication from what? Your foundation. Your foundation. Determining. And how do many times these foundations affect us? One true evil traditions, evil customs, evil rights, traditions. Oh, this is our tradition. This is our custom. This is our right. This are th this is what we do in this family. So you go to certain families, and they have festivals, and these festivals, it is maybe they say yam festivals or carnivals or whatever it is it's a specific festival but it's being dedicated to a certain idol or deity which you today you see just as a festival but what you don't know is that the elders and the grown-ups in the bloodline they know that this festival is because we are thanking the god who gives us rain for the harvest the god whether uh, the, God, the God who helps us to what, fight battles and win wars, the God who protects us from our enemies. So the festival is not just an ordinary festival. They are doing it with the, with the motive of thanking a certain idol or deity. Satanic, demonic cultures, traditions, rituals, and rites. And some of us growing up were partakers of these things just thinking that it is time of festivity because during that time there's a lot of food there's a lot of fun there's a lot of dramas and there's sorts of parties and stuff and people were involved what you didn't know was indirectly they were dedicating the people within the bloodline the people within the family to these idols to these demons and the demons begins to have a link like the dna rna a link with you and begin to have a link with your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren because of the evil dedication. One of the ways they do this is through naming, naming ceremony. I challenge some of you, in your traditions and customs, how are children named? How are children what? When a child is born, how do, what is the, what is the, custom and tradition of naming ceremony in your children's in, in in your in your in your family 
And that's where some of you, you were dedicated with, for, to an idol, to a water spirit, to a forest spirit, for a, 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 a mountain or a hill spirit, from a stone demon to the, 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 the demon of the sun or the moon. You were dedicated to a certain idol, strange spirit without your knowledge. And it all came by the time of naming, naming ceremonies. Even to the time that, that, that you are a Christian now, whenever you are about to name your child, your mom will show up, your dad will show up. You know, you know that tradition, we have to do this. There are certain families you can never name a child unless immediately the child is born. Even whether you are in the U.S., you are in Canada, they demand that you bring the child's placenta back to the village. There are women and men, when they give birth, they collect their children's placenta from the doctors and nurses and take it all the way to their foundation, their country. And they will go and give it to their mother or dad or elders and then the elders will do things on it and bury it. When they buried the child's placenta, they buried the child's destiny, buried the child's glory, buried the child's identity and star. So there are many people whose destinies are buried under trees, buried in the ground because of your... The question is that what did they do to your placenta? What did they do to what? Your plant? To some of you, it's a mystery. To some of you, this thing you are hearing, it's a mystery. And I understand it's a mystery because you don't even know what's going on. But there are certain families you never... Once a child is born, they are demanding the child's placenta. You must bring it because you, your placenta is in the hands of a certain witch. Who has buried it? A certain strong man or woman in the family. And that's why your life is struggling. They saw your, poten your potential and took your placenta. Buried it and did an enchantment against it. You, it doesn't matter what you brought into this world. You struggle until the Lord in his mercy delivers you. So when a child is born, one of in certain families, the placenta. Second, dedication by names. I've told to, to you about names already. They will try and impose a family name on you because that family name may be Mr. Jenkins. And here I want to use this to correct this. The last time we talked about the um, John Kennedy, the Kennedy family, the Kennedys. For instance, the Kennedy, if you look at the dictionary, it's, it's, it's called ugly head. Ugly head. Ugly head. Misshaped, misshaped. So now, there will be a certain strong man within the family before you were born, before your mother was born, before your father was born. I'm talking, I'm taking you to four hundred generation. Please, the battle we are facing, it's not about 50 years, 20 years, and I'm talking about way back 400. Many of the, our battles are stemming from 400. <laughs> I understand when, if you're, I understand if you don't understand, because some of this revelation is above some of you. Get a book. Get a book, Spiritual Diagnosis. Get the book from our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, and begin to open your eyes of spirituality because some of you this thing i'm talking to you it is above your head you've never heard it before you don't even understand what is going on because you have all you've lived all your life in the earthly plane you have nothing you don't have no understanding to the spiritual realms start from here spiritual diagnosis understanding the mystery behind your misery get this book it will help you um spiritual diagnosis go to our website and buy it today and it will serve you it will help you so you can follow you can follow what you are talking about so now there will be a strong man within the family who is into idols and i'm telling you all of us going back to 400 years many of our ancestors were into idol worship whether you are from a, a caucasian mexico uh, haiti uh canada australia Way back, 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 forefathers were into what? Idols. Go to Rome. Go to Greek. Who brought in civilization? The Roman Empire. No Roman general. No Roman 
soldier will go to war without making sacrifices to their idol whether zeus whether apollos they were all worshiping idols and they were making sacrifices Aseroth. and before that time kimash go back to the old testament people were into so Every one of us, our foundation is stemmed from some level of idolatry and witchcraft. Before God started bringing, when Jesus came and Paul and the disciples started propagating the gospel. Before Paul got the gospel and brought it around and others got converted, they went into idols. So 400, we are all somehow contaminated. So you will realize that there will be a strong family member who was deep into these idols and his name will seem to when the idols have a covenant with a strong man in the family they begin to allow his name to begin to dominate over the family so now they'll say the jenkins family the Jenkins. so mr Jenkins is the main stronghold of that family and through Mr. Jenkins, she gave birth, he gave birth to about five or ten children. And, 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 and they also married and they are keeping the Jenkins and the Jenkins. But Mr. Jenkins, who is the strong man of the family, he was into Freemason. He was into what? Illuminati. And he had made a covenant with Baphomet. And he's been giving wealth and popularity and things at the expense of his great great grandchildren for uh, a hundred years ahead so now the jenkins families so now you come in and immediately the spirit the familiar spirit who knows mr jenkins the familiar spirit who knows or the ancestral spirit who knows the covenant jenkins mr jenkins has made with baphomet and Mr. Jenkins also told Baphomet that make me popular, protect me or do, make me famous or make me rich. But I am dedicating my family to you. When you are coming, they will now begin to operate within your own family members. Your mother, your father, your aunties. Oh, let's name this child John Jenkins. This Jenkins. So that by the time Jenkins came out, <laughs> by default, that name has linked you. To the Baphomet spirit. In the same way, where you are coming from, what traditional name is being passed on to everybody? And that traditional name, as you make your spiritual inquiry, you realize that this person was a very powerful person spiritually and was into certain things. And now I carry his name. So now, by default, whatever covenant he had with this spirit, that spirit has a link with me. And that spirit begins to monitor my life. So by naming, they get you dedicated. So now the spirit knows that immediately. The spirit, does, the spirit doesn't even have to worry. When he hears anybody, Jenkins, from this family, he knows that, oh, that's my client. Anytime I want a, a, a sacrifice, I can go in and cause miscarriage. Anytime I want to kill anybody, I can strike somebody with cancer and die because Mr. Jenkins, when he was alive, had already made a covenant with me and dedicated his bloodline to me. I made him successful. I protected him. I gave him what he needed at the expense of his posterity. So if God has not, if you don't know these mysteries behind your misery, you are Jenkins and you don't know why whenever you become pregnant, miscarry. You are Jenkins. Every time you get married, divorce, you have no idea where the name is coming from and how it came into your life. The Lord must now begin to reveal it to you so that you will address the name and break yourself off the curse attached to the name. Sanctify the name. And if sometimes need be, change the name. Because by naming, they connect you to the altar. Some of us doing naming ceremonies, they pour libation. Americans and Western world don't know libation. Libation is to take an alcoholic drink. And then when they are naming the baby, they said, we are appealing to our ancestors that as this boy or this girl has come, we dedicate this child to you, protect this child, make her wealthy, make it. How can a demon make you wealthy and protect you and make you? 
but the traditionalist believes that by pouring libation alcohol on the ground they are summoning your ancestors and some of you call yourself christians in the ignorance of trying to find out your roots you are going to africa to connect to idols we are running from idols and you are running to idols just because i want to know my my, my, my heritage i want to know where i came from i'm an american so what is my true roots and when they go in they go and take idols as artifact and bring it making covenant you you, you have all, already your problems you are going to pick another continent problem and add it to your head ignorance when you become a christian the holy tradition and customs and right you have is christianity you read your bible find out what jesus did what the disciples did and what god wants you to do throw away all unnecessary evil traditions and apply yourself to the traditions of christ of god of the holy spirit and you'll be free from all these things some of us say we are christians but we are addict and devoted practitioners of evil satanic customs and traditions and that's why up to now the yoke and the curse is still prevalent in our lives every family tradition you are in every family festivity you are in every family ritual you are in one woman she was even sponsoring her with her money she's here working in the u.s and giving her family members money to fix idols in her hometown in her hometown they were so diabolic that anybody who dies they will bury you after some month they will go and excavate and bring out the, the dead body and then they'll find out the skull and take the skull and bring it to the family home and keep the skull in a certain uh house a room so everybody in the family who has died they have your scar your head your scar in a particular room it's called they call it skull. they they keep your skull in the room the woman is in the u.s but nothing is working for her she's broke she's suffering she's struggling nothing she's working but nothing to show off because they celebrate ancestry demons and they have every skull of dead people in their family in hell so everything around her is dead dried up and you think that you can leave any type of christianity to come out of this mess traditions traditions customs puberty right one of them too is puberty right those of you who have watched the roots the roots at a point when the children grew to teenage and they were watch, ushering them from um into, into 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 their teenage age they would let them come in and they were going to circumcise them in certain families they do that by this time they are not doing it like god told abraham to do it for all the jewish people but they are now doing it for their idols so anybody who has been circumcised was the blood that came was placed on the altar of the idol the water spirit the stone spirit the sun spirit the forest demon the tree demon whatever demons that they are serving the circumcision was dedicating the men and the women even in some customs in certain parts of africa and certain parts of europe they do female circumcision which is against god it is men's circumcision not female and that opens up for prostitution and all sort of uh, 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 um, lust and immorality they do a female circumcision so puberty right and, and, and in certain countries that puberty right ceremonies the women will be made naked naked half naked with their breasts showing and they'll cover and then they'll be all these things they were dedicating you to an idol now you wake you 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 you, you grow up and you are wondering why your marriage is not working why you keep on divorcing separation and argument have you forgotten when you were growing up the the the, 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 the ceremonies that you went through the puberty right sometimes they make marks on your body incisions on your body all these things it was family altars oh a child has been born we are killing this fowl to this what did what, what did it was all dedications and when this happens there's a covenant 
and these demons are always looking for a loophole to hold us in bondage that's what i'm saying that zachary uh, joshua the high priest as long as his clothes were stained in the presence of god the devil was still accusing him we are in the presence of god you are doing 40 days fasting you are reading your bible you are praying are you not in the presence of god even joshua had the angel of the lord standing in front of him and he was in before god yesterday the devil was what accusing him that's why with all everything you are doing right as a believer still these demons these ancestral powers these fallen demons are still accusing you and are still demand saying why you are not going to make it in life if god has not shown you mercy by revelation the battle continues that's why you have to understand your mystery so you can come out of your misery another way another way whereby we people are connected to evil dedication is true is by consulting idols demons sorcerers spiritualists shaman psychics for protection and preservation some people innocently got themselves dedicated not because they wanted to be dedicated to that spirit but they just went in for protection from that idol so let's read second timothy 1 verse 12 can you quickly please please understand this mystery if you don't understand it the devil will use paul said we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil lest he takes undue advantage over us if you don't understand these things you are going to be in bondage second timothy, second timothy 1 verse 12 please second timothy 1 verse 12 it reads for this reason no before you even read this so the first one i talked i talked about was what dedication through our foundation and i talked about naming ceremony and things that was done to us even before when we were young now let's read luke chapter 2 verse 22 truth are parallel everything that goes on in christendom the devil has its counterfeit and that counterfeit is what is keeping many in bondage and captivity all of us needing deliverance we say we are christians we say we love the lord we say we read the bible we say we pray in tongues we, we are filled with the holy ghost so where cometh all these things because of satanic bondages that he has placed on us but today as this revelation is coming god says the time has come for you to break yourself loose and free Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power. By the power. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. By the efficacy. By the efficacy. Of the blood of Jesus. Of the blood of I Jesus. I break. I break. Myself. Myself. Loose. Loose. And free. And free. From satanic. From satanic. Demonic. Demonic. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Ancestral. Ancestral. Dedication. Dedication. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May the Lord set you loose and free. Amen. Luke chapter 2 verse 22 read now when the days of a purification according to the law of moses according to the what law of moses it is the jewish customs the jewish traditions and the jewish ceremony and rites that when a woman delivers a baby after eight days of her purification she must show up and dedicate her firstborn to their God. And this time the Jewish, their God was the God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob. The question I pose to you is that your ancestors, who was their God? And so when they were dedicating children, what idol, what water spirit, what forest spirit, what dwarf spirit, what demonic entity were they dedicating children in that bloodline to? Read it. Luke chapter 2, verse 22. Now, when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses, according to the law, mm -hmm. 
They brought him to Jerusalem mm -hmm. to present him to the Lord. They what? They brought him. They what? They brought. Did him. Jesus himself walk to the place? No. He was already just eight years ago. Eight years. Eight eight, eight, eight days, days. Eight days. Did Jesus walk to the place? No. Did Jesus dedicate himself? No. Who did it? The parents. The parents. <laughs> Somebody has dedicated you and you are, uh, I'm, I'm having spirit husband, I'm having spirit wife, I'm going through nightmare, I'm having sleep paralysis, a spirit is following me, a drought spirit, and I can't get married. <laughs> oh, really? Do you know who did it to you? Jesus Christ, as young as he was, innocent, his parents went to give him over to a God. That a God will have his way in his life. Read it. You, didn't start, you did not initiate your problem. Somebody had already done it for you. So you are just, you have inherited a family issue, a family problem. And that's when you are complaining. Your family members say, oh, just accept it as it is. We are all going through the same. None of us is married. Are we not staying? None of us is uh, rich. Are we not okay? Why are you trying to? That's why anytime you want to break out and break loose, your own family will fight you. Because they were part of the spiritual conspiracy. Without their knowledge, putting you in that situation. Read. They brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Every male who opens the womb... Every, according to the law of the Jewish customs, traditions, and rights, what is the evil law in your family? Some of us, the evil law is that no woman is permitted to marry. And if you dare to marry, we will kill your husband. If you dare to marry, we will make you miserable in your marriage. If you marry, you will work for the husband and the husband will cheat on you and love other women. If you dare marry, you will suffer. But many, they will not even venture to marry at all. For some families also, the law is that in this family, we don't want any rich person, any prosperous person. Poverty is what we love because the altar says, I like poverty. So if you try to be rich, they will kill you. So anybody who goes to school and who is trying to rise up, they will cut his life short. We don't want successful people in this family. That is the altar. That is the demonic spirit. He doesn't want any... The poor people can live long. So you look into the family and the poor and wretched people are living long. All those who are trying to make something out of their life, they kill them all. You look into some families to delay and stagnation. You look into some families also, sickness and disease. You look into some family also and you realize that vagabond and, and fugitive spirits wandering around useless. What is the law in your own family? That, that law is trying to be imposed on your destiny. And when you come on and we are saying pray, fast, read the word, and, 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 and allow God to have his way. Some of you don't want to be serious. You have no idea, understanding. May, may the Lord give you understanding of the mystery, of the mystery. May you understand the mystery. When you begin to understand mysteries, you don't play games with your Christianity. You don't play games with Jesus Christ. We don't play games with the Holy Spirit. You don't play games with fasting. You don't play games with prayer. You don't play games with living a holy life. You don't play games with serving the Lord. Because if you knew the mystery, the things we teach is the things that brings you out. If you take it easy, it will eat to eat to incapacitate and decapitate, incapacitate your life. Re cripple you, reduce you, and you are Christian but powerless and reduced to nothing. May the Lord give you understanding. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, have mercy, have mercy on me today. On me today, deliver me, deliver me from satanic, from satanic, demonic, demonic witchcraft, witchcraft, ancestral, ancestral, evil dedication, evil dedication. Break me loose, break me loose, and free, and free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Continue. Every male who opens the womb Every shall be male. called holy to the Lord. So in this cost culture every male child is dedicated to their god some of us that's is the problem firstborn first child male some of us that's why all and, and this goes worldwide if you're a first child be very careful if you're what the firstborn yes. if you're a firstborn be very careful otherwise you will struggle yes. sometimes the last bones and the third bones they will make it but first bones first bones there's an attack on first bones so you, you, you are the firstborn, but all your other siblings are making it. And only you firstborn, but you are struggling and nothing good is coming out of your life. Because spiritually, they've dedicated the firstborn. Whatever should have been passed from your father to you, you have become the sacrificial lamb for the family. 
So now all your siblings will rest on your shoulder to rise, but you, you have become the, the, the how do you call it? The ladder. You become the ladder. So you are helping everybody and everybody is moving forward. And then you are you are left behind. And then they look back and say, she, she's the first born, but she has nothing. She's the first born. She couldn't finish schooling. She has the first born. She has been in the US, Canada for so all these years. And she can't even buy a house. She doesn't have anything because of firstborn dedication. May the Lord deliver anyone who is a firstborn, Amen. who is not experiencing any blessing or any breakthrough in their lives. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father every, curse every curse of the firstborn, of the, of on, the my firstborn life, on my life, let it be broken, let it be broken of my life today, of my life today in the name of Jesus. In the name of and, Jesus. I recover and I recover my firstborn blessings, my firstborn blessings in Jesus' name. In Jesus firstborn. Name. When you are firstborn, be very careful. If you are firstborn, be very careful. Otherwise, you end up not being anything. Whilst you see your siblings making it. Firstborns, yeah. they'll reduce you to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Bible, most of the firstborns didn't achieve anything. Yeah. Esau, Esau, Esau misses his, 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 right, his right to Jacob. Reuben lost his right to uh, Joseph. Uh, Jacob, uh, Joseph. Uh, uh, Ishmael loses his right to what? Isaac. Isaac. All the firstborns, they lost it. Ephraim and Manasseh. Ephraim lost it to uh, yeah. In the Bible, all the firstborn, they lost their birthright. If you play games in this world, especially if you're a firstborn, be very careful. The powers of darkness will reduce you to nothing. Verse 24. Verse 24. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Somebody says so unfair. You think this life is fair. This life is not about fair. This life is about fighting to for this life has never been fair. Life is not fair. Life is for the violent, aggressive, and those who are determined. If you keep on saying life is not fair, you will be under forever. The devil doesn't care about fairness. Does COVID care about fairness? When COVID comes, does he care about fairness? It will kill you if you don't take your if you don't take God. The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to keep to destroy. Get knowledge and start fighting for your deliverance. And it's not about fairness. There's nothing like fairness in this world. If you play games, you will end up being nothing on this earth. Your destiny will be switched. F forget about fairness. F who told you that life is fair? Life is for fighters. Life is survival of the fittest. Life is contention. Life is not fanfare. It is warfare. What is about fairness? Some people, are, life is not fair. You, you will suffer. Uh -huh. Reverend Kings, I think that what that person is trying to say. So, mm -hmm. in case like you are firstborn, one of the prayers that you have to pray all the time, all the time. every time, is that no one will take my position. My bet right. My bet right. No one in the family will take my position or will take my bet right. Because in the Bible, there's so many examples mm -hmm. that the firstborn they couldn't take, they couldn't hold on to their bet mm -hmm. right. The <laughs> second one took it. So you have to. And pray if somebody, God. if there's, they've already taken, you are saying no one should. It's like a. a now you are now coming to this world, so now you are praying proactive. But many Someone they've already taken, taken it. it. Somebody's running with somebody. So, so now you are, you have to take back what the, the the devil has already stolen from you through evil dedication. So please, there is no fairness. We are not here to play fairness. We are here to contend, to repossess and to dispossess our enemies of those things they've taken from us. That's why when people come here and they are not serious, they. They don't get their breakthrough because you got to be aggressive and violent. The Bible says, until the days of the kingdom of God suffered violence after the days of John the Baptist. And the kingdom and the violent take it by force. It didn't say the nice. The violent, those who are aggressive, are breaking forth and breaking through. Life is survival of the fittest. It is so easy to fail in life. But attempt to succeed and you see the resistance you experience. It is easy. You don't have to do anything to fail in life. But to succeed, you have to do everything. And even when you are doing everything, you have resistance and opposition. So life, don't talk about fairness. Just know the knowledge and begin to start fighting and possess your possession in the name of our Lord Jesus. God is a God of restoration. That's why he's giving you this understanding so you can break forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So that is the first. Then I'll go back to Timothy, second Timothy. So now, so the first thing is dedication by the law. traditions, mm -hmm. customs, and rights mm -hmm. through naming ceremony, puberty rites, and family customs and festivities. They will entangle you before you even start your life in your own family, in your own bloodline, in your own generation. They will put you a name on you. That name will cripple your destiny. You were born to become 
a president, but the name you carry will make you a slave and a servant because of the name. Because there, every day we, they mention the name, a demon realized that your 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 your, your grand uncle came to me and dedicated the family to me. So now you are linked to it. Please let's go on. I, I know I know this is deep for some people. So I'm trying to break it down. I cannot even teach everything. But I, all I'm praying is that today you will discover that there are certain battles you are facing and facing. We don't even know what it is. And it's all due to a dedication that has been has gone on and we are just victims. The Lord is bringing deliverance to you today. Yeah. See, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, by this revelation, by this revelation, by this truth, by this truth, deliver me, deliver me, rescue me, rescue me from evil dedication, from evil dedication to any idols, to any idol, to any demonic entity, to any demonic, entity, to any familiar spirits, to any familiar, to spirits, any witchcraft powers, to any witchcraft powers, deliver me, deliver me, my children, my children, my family, my family from evil dedication, from evil dedication in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Second Timothy. The second is many have been dedicated because of seeking help for protection and preservation. They went in for what? Protection and preservation. That they will be protected from their enemies. And when they went to these idols, the idols had a link with them and they were dedicated to that altar. Let's read 2 Timothy 1 verse 12. 2 Timothy 1 verse 12. It reads, For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. I know whom? I have believed. See, he's telling you, I know the God I have believed on. Before she goes on, some parents, some of our parents growing up, they realized that there was rivalry. Some of us, we came from a polygamous family whereby your father had maybe three wives and some of your mom's rivalry, they were very diabolic and they always wanted your father to take care of them than you. And so our parents wanting their husband to take care of their children will go to different spiritualists sorceress psychics and for protection for their children some of you even before you when you traveled they'll say get this talisman get this good luck charm get this amulet get this concussion a rabbit on the child or the child becomes sick because many communities there were witchcraft activities and a witch can see a child and begin to attack the child's destiny so a mother will realize that hey this woman is dangerous she will attack and be bewitch my son or my daughter and remember all they knew was idol worshiping so now they go to the most powerful spiritualist in town and say hey this this woman want to curse my son or bewitch my marriage or come after my family so please perform some protection for us so that we'll be covered so that when this witch is trying to bewitch us through her spells her charm her sorcery her incantation and her divination will be protected so now they go to a higher idol and the idols were the gatekeepers of different communities and families and the idols are usually powerful than witches so now once they go for protection now they release what is called a patrolling demon a what patrolling you know police patrol yes. they patrol the community and make sure that at midnight when any witch rises up to go into different territories to bewitch when that demon comes into this family, that patrolling demonic entity will strike the witch and say, don't come here because she has come for what? Protection and what? Preservation from us. These are all taking place in the spiritual realm. If you don't understand, it is okay. These are too deep for you. Get a book and start opening your spiritual understanding. Patrolling demons. So now, anytime our parents or family members go to certain places for protection, Oh, yes, they got some protection, but they have connected and dedicated the family to a higher being, a higher spirit. So now, oh, I have headache, I have headache. I've heard about a powerful spiritualist. I've heard about a powerful this. And then you go and they will pray for you. When they pray for you, 
you don't know what source of power they are using whether it's a marine spirit whether it is baphomet whether it's illuminati spirit you just don't care they helped you your headache went but now they've connected you and dedicated you to now another stronger fallen spirit who is blood testy and will be killing your grandchildren one by one that's why you have to be very careful where you go who prays for you who lays their hands on you now so people go for divine protection let's read continue second timothy 1 verse 12 for this reason i also suffer these things nevertheless i am not ashamed for i know whom i have believed and i'm persuaded that he is able to keep what i have i know whom i believe and i am persuaded he's what he's able to keep our our ancestors, they believe that the idols and the shrines and the deity, the water spirit, the crocodile spirit, the serpentine spirit, the three demons were able to keep their family from what? Evil. Just as here Paul is saying that I have dedicated, committed my life. Remember the word commit. What does when we define dedication? Dedication means what? To, to commit. commit. To commit to commit so they can commit you your your own parents can commit you. your ancestors can commit your grandparents can commit you to a demonic entity to an evil idol idolater shrine and they are persuaded that that idol is able to keep you from witchcraft demonic spirit and spiritually some people when they are going you will find out that there are spirits that are for monitoring them to protect them from other stronger demons until their time comes for that same spirit to sacrifice them or to do them harm. Until then, the spirit protects them. If you, don't think that any witch can kill anybody. In witchcraft, before you kill anybody, you have to go and do consultation from the person's family. And uh, many people have different spirits. Even some sp witchcraft spirit protect people because this is my candidate. I am trying to kill by December for my own sacrifice so i'm not going to permit somebody's witchcraft or another idol another demon to come and kill this so they are not protecting you for your interest they are protecting you from their for their heart for their own interest for their own interest that which said that they want to sacrifice you december for their coven so they are not going to permit another witch to take you and go and use it for their own <laughs> do you understand so they are protecting you they will make sure that nobody touches you on until the appointed time they want to take you out do not let another person. So some people, when they are going, there are spirits following them. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any satanic spirit. Any satanic any spirit. Any demonic spirit. Any demonic spirit. That follows me. That follows that me. That monitors me. That monitors me. That has been tracking me. That has been tracking because me. Because of an evil dedication. Of an evil dedication. Today. Today. By the power. By the power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I break. I break. I disconnect. I disconnect. Myself. Myself. From this unclean spirit. From this unclean This spirit. demonic spirit. This demonic in the spirit. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give one more. Sometimes some of them are too deep. I don't know. It's becoming too hot. I'm going to give you one more dedication. I'm going to give you one more dedication. There are different levels. But I'm going to give you one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more dedication. One of the ways also that people are dedicated to evil spirit is what's called parental so this one i dealt with protection and preservation it is you can put yourself in that bondage and today a lot of people are committing themselves into demonic dedication when people are running helter scatter everywhere so desperate. desperate looking for solution yeah. not caring the source of where the power is coming from a person will move on to this channel and today most of the witch doctors most of the psychics most of the necromancers most of these spiritualists they now come in in the name of uh, ministers 
whether prophet, whether apostle, whether this thing, with signs and wonders. They've changed their tactics. And social media has made it easy. So now you see anybody, you don't know where they came from. Once you know they can prophesy, once you know they can do miracles, hey, pray for me. Hey, bring your picture. Bring your name. Bring your this. Hey, 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 he told me my name. He told me. Where is he coming from? Who is his spiritual father? What is his background? People don't care anymore. They don't check. They don't check no nothing. Prophet one, prophet Dito Dito, prophet who can tell me my telephone number, prophesy, man, miracles, signs and wonders, quick fix. Really, do you know what they are doing to you? Bring your picture, bring me your name, tell me this, tell me the hey, power. He's powerful. He will, he will deal with your temporal issue and link you with the altar spirit, the demonic entity he is covenanted with. And now you begin to become dedicated. That spirit begins to follow you. Yeah. You have they, to make sure that it's a true prophet. You, you, you got to be discerning. The spirit. You got to be. People yeah. are so, so shallow, desperate. And now, on social media, we have ten thousands. So, there are spirits everywhere waiting for people who are not serious Christians to capture their soul, to imprison them and place them. Recently, a man went to a, witch, a, a pastor in the name of a prophet. And the pastor told her that this thing you have brought, I myself, I have to go to this place to get power, to do my miracle signs and wonders and prophecy. If you don't mind, I will help you. So he convinced, he thought he was going to a pastor and the pastor said, I'm recommending you to another, I'm, I'm, I'm pastor on the front, but behind the scenes, I have an altar. I have an idol that is helping me to mention names and do all the miracles. But since I like you, I'm now going to take you to my real place. So he took him and they did concussion and stuff for him. Now this guy is married and now his first child is about to die because unknown to him, when he went, if it was unemployment, immediately he got the job. But now when he had left, the altar now began to, that the demon told the pastor who is now working for him, that this guy who came here and we helped him to get a job, you know that this coming summer you are supposed to sacrifice a human being i want you to go for her son he's the, he's the one we are going to use for the sacrifice and this man was clueless you see how it works you went for a job you went for my tile restoration you went to that prophet or whatever spiritualist for some lightweight issue they covenanted you to an idol who will be placing some serious demand on your life that will cause you greater devastation. Greater pain. The man was going to lose his firstborn by the same spirit that deceived him by telling him, We've, got, we've helped you got a job. They are coming for your son, and his son was going to die until God intervened. Those of you who are lazy, you don't want to know Jesus for yourself. You are lazy, you don't want to learn to pray. You are lazy, you don't want to read the Bible. You are lazy. You don't want to fast. Go on. Carry on. Carry on with this kind of Christianity. And when an emergency situation hits you and you don't know how to call on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through his son Jesus with the help of the Holy Ghost, out of desperation, you will be work, You will go for any place, anywhere to get solution. That's where they will capture you and your family and dedicate you to these demons. So don't think we are wasting our time here enforcing your personal relationship with Jesus. Don't think we are wasting your time telling you to take your Bible, daily Bible study serious. Don't think we are wasting our time or your time telling you to be righteous and holy and keep away from sin. Don't think that we are wasting your time. We are go slow. You want quick face and miracles and signs and wonders. We are, to, we are teaching you with the help of God through Christianity. And how to make heaven. And how to make heaven. 
Because once your soul is linked with this dedication, you know, your soul has been already dedicated to them. All those who died through this means, they are going to hell. It is no two ways. You were linked to a demon and it, it kills you. You are going to hell because your soul was given. We got to wake up and stop these games. And that's of, of late, I don't have time for games and gimmicks and people are not serious. I'm only here to help those who want to make it heaven and those who want to walk with Christ. May God help us all. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The last one I'm going to deal with. There are, a lot of, there are a lot of dedications. But today, I'm ending with this one. Dedications through parental vows. Dedication through what? Parental vows. Your parents can implicate you and place you in bondage without your knowledge. Your own parents, because of a vow, they can put your their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Let's read Judges chapter 11. A parental vow is when your mom, for instance, listen. Hannah. We are coming there. A lady was having serious issues with her husband. Constant confusion, constant misunderstanding, constant strife, constant friction, constant, constantly fighting. And it was due to what? Witchcraft. But because they don't know how to pray and they don't know how to resist the devil, a friend told her that, hey, this constant battle you have been having with your husband, be careful the friends you keep. Be careful the friends who keep on telling you, let's go and see this person. Let's go and see this person. This person can help you. This champ can help you. This amulet can help you. This good luck champ can help you. These sages can help you. This necklace can help you this thing this thing they keep on bringing things to you oh just use this help or oh, just drink this herb out you are pregnant you, you, you want to be pregnant oh this guy he, he, he mixes herb out many of these herbalists they are into what's called the dwarf spirit many of these herbals who they promise you if you can't have a child i'll make some concussion herbals for you they link you to a certain demonic entity and that demonic entity will go and fight a witch who has shut your womb. And now begin to dedicate your children to that demonic entity. And at the right time, the entity will come in to destroy the children, whether through cancer, destroy them through stillbirth, destroy them through dying prematurely, or waste their lives because you've been like, be very careful. Women, 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 women like going to places. Women like going to places unless they don't hear. Be very careful. Your friends that keep on telling you, let's go here, let's go there. Try this and try this. Try this good luck charm. Try this amulet. Try this thing and put it on you. It will protect you. It will keep your, you, your husband away from other women. Try this, try this. And there are roots and herbs and crystals and many things. And you know you're a Christian. And yes, you are subscribing to all these diabolic things. You are inviting evil spirits to link with you and to dedicate your grandchildren, great-grandchildren. The battles you'll be fighting in your, as you grow, you can't handle it to my sister. Even the witches, witchcraft, you can't handle. And now you are dealing with principalities. Baphomet. Be careful. People don't want serious Christianity. Quick fix, microwave, do it now, Christianity. This thing I'm teaching, people don't want to hear it. Just do some miracles and let's go away. <laughs> it's sad. Parental vows. Your parent can... Because, now, I'm coming to the story. So, the, the parents are having problems with each other, argument, confusion. The woman is afraid the husband will divorce her. Her friend suggests... Let's go and see this spiritualist. She, he'll help you. They went, and even though they went for help, the first thing the spiritualist said is, where's your daughter's picture? And they brought their daughter's picture. And he says, oh, I just want to prove her it. 
and they went in no time their marriage was restored peace understanding but they realized also that now their daughter every day that she is getting ready for an exams in the exams hall she will have severe headache dizziness and pass out and she has to repeat the class because she couldn't take it or feel every time consistently 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 after spiritual inquiry and diagnosis they discovered that the mystery behind their misery was that when they went to restore their marriage they dedicated their own daughter to the ad idol every psychic every spiritualist every shaman every malabu every sangoma they all have demonic entity sponsoring marine powers sponsoring them don't think people are living on this earth for nothing many of the celebrities for them to achieve the height wealth popularity fame and influence they must bring their dedication woe to you if you are part of their inner circle woe to you if you are, their, you are you are their family member and you don't know jesus and you don't know how to pray they will sacrifice you one time look at what is going on in recent times i'm not going to mention any names but in recent times if you've been watching some of these celebrities their close loved ones are dying 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 you will see how they'll be shooting up very soon just watch out if you are ignorant too you are ignorant because you don't understand nothing everything to you is carnal so i understand that you don't understand one day when you get revelation you understand amen, amen. let's read judges 11 verse 30 judges 11 verse 30 judges 11 verse 30 say heavenly father heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus today today by this revelation by this revelation every hidden every hidden dedication dedication that has gone on that has gone on against me against me today today lord jesus lord jesus have mercy have mercy on me on me and deliver me and deliver me break me loose break me loose break me free break me free from the evil dedication from evil dedication in jesus name amen um judges chapter 11 verse 30 and jaffa 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 and jaffa made a vow and jaffa did what and jaffa made a vow and jaffa did what made a vow vows to the lord so you, you, they, they go to the shrine they go to the psychic they go to the witch doctor they go to the spiritualist as a spiritualist if you can only help me and this man marries me i promise you i will do this for you you don't have to tell them if they do it for you they are placing demand i'm going to help you to get that man to marry you i'm going to help you to get that job i'm going to help you to get that promotion i'm going to help you to pass that exams i'm going to help you to succeed but i will demand what i want i can demand every child in your womb and i'll stop you from being pregnant i can demand that all your grandchildren or your children's children will die that's my demand you have made a vow but they also made their vow. Continue. Made a vow to the Lord and said, If you will indeed deliver the people of Ammon. So now he, he is, is beginning. Jaffa. With, with God. God, I'm about to fight this strong army. If you give me victory, I vow. <laughs> I will do this for you. What did he say? Start again. No, no, continue, continue. Then... Then, then it will be mm -hmm. that whatever comes mm -hmm. out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the people of Ammon shall surely be the Lord. It says that if you give me victory, I have my house, I have my servant, I have my cattle, my goats, I have everything in my house. Whatever will come out of my house first to come and greet me, Lord, I dedicate it, I sacrifice it. I give it to you. Take it. Skill it and enjoy it. And even with this, he was doing it in ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because according to the law of the Jewish, God does not permit human sacrifice. sacrifice. But the devil manipulated him to make an evil 
vow. And when you go to these spiritualists to help you, they will compel you to make vows that they know you can't keep. They know you falter so they can destroy you. He was manipulated to do a vow which God, God didn't ask him to make that vow. And God does not even permit human sacrifice. So what made him to ask for a human sacrifice? He says, anything that comes out of my house. Guess what happened? Guess how the devil manipulated events against him? Read. And, and, and I Are you will offer today? it mm -hmm. up as a burnt offering. Anything that comes, I will sacrifice. So verse 32. You see, evil dedication, it can lead to what? Sacrifices. Yes. It's children being killed. People dying prematurely. People dying of cancer. People dying of mysterious death, accident, gang banging, killing, murder. Somebody through their dedication have sacrificed. Without even them knowing. Continue. Okay, so that so that would be verse 34. Mm -hmm. So when Japheth came to his house. Now when Japheth had succeeded, now you whatever you went for, they've given it to you. But the consequence, the ramification of your action. Now let's let's look at it. When verse 34, when Japheth came to his house at Mispa, mm -hmm. there was his daughter. His daughter coming out to meet him. His daughter came out. With Tambolin mm -hmm. and dancing, and she was his only child. His only child. Beside her, he had neither son nor daughter. They, they will always take the most precious things. Verse 35. And it came to pass when he saw her that he tore his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, you have brought me very low. <laughs> You are among those who trouble me. You are among those who trouble me. They will compel you to do something that will cost you. Oh, you thought you went for a job, a marriage, and healing, or this thing. What the devil will demand and take from you, you will regret forever going to the devil to consult for help and to making vows to these idols. For I have given my word to the Lord. And I cannot go back on it. That's it. Fallen spirit. They will take it one time. They will kill you. They will destroy you. They will waste your life. Parental vows. What did your parents say? What do you say when you go to certain places to make vows? Some of us, do you know why we are suffering? You told God you will do something for him. If he does for something for you, you got it all right. You never fulfilled your vows. Wow. Many of us, we are cursed because we have not fulfilled our vows to God. Oh God, if you give me, if you give me a job, my first paycheck, I'll give it to you. You got a job all right. Oh God, you know, <laughs> I had this bills to pay, that bills to pay. It has become, your own words have become a curse to you. Or if I get a job, I will do this for God. I will do that for God. I will do out. You got, you, you got the success. You got the job. You got that breakthrough. You got that miracle. You got that testimony. You made a vow with your mouth. Oh God, you understand. Oh God, you ought. You understand. It has now become a curse. From that day, you are not seeing any open heaven because of words, vows we have made. If somebody you are listening and you have made a vow, fulfill your vow to the Lord. In the occultic realm, if you go and make a vow to an idol and you don't meet it, he will come for it and kill something close to you. Thank God God is not a killer. Like for but your own words will become a curse and limit you because now you've gotten the job. You can't, you can't enjoy it. You can't last in it because you made vows to the Lord. Be very careful. When Hannah made a vow to the Lord, he fulfilled the vow. Make sure if you don't want to make a vow, you shut up. But don't make vows to God and not keep it. Your words, my words, will become a curse and a limitation. You'll be burning and breaking and losing. And still, you are limited, you are constricted, you are you are bound because of a vow you made carelessly. If you've made God is speaking to somebody, fulfill that vow because you know what you told God. Now, if He does this for you, you will do this for Him. Why is your offering? Where is your pledge to the Almighty God? And some of you, 
you made it to some idols and they are they they, they don't even show mercy you wanted to say something yeah i was saying that uh, like if you made a vow especially in the demonic speak out loud in the demonic world if you make a vow and you don't pay most of the time they come for it and they also take a conversation they take a competition a, a, a compensation, compensation for for for, for, you, for disrespecting them, them. Oh, 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 can you help me to get a child? And they gave you a child and never go back to thank them. People, we don't understand spiritual things. We don't. Please get a book, Spiritual Diagnosis. Spiritual Diagnosis. The foundation of you understanding the spiritual world. And it will help you. I want us to pray a prayer. And I pray that by this illumination, there are a lot of things that leads to um, evil dedication. I I'm can't... A, I'm a parental... Even pray, it, it, it's so much. But today, at least you understand what we are driving that you want to pray that if per, per chance in any ways you have personally may been dedicated to any idol any altar any evil spirit by your parents your grandparents or by your own actions you have entangled yourself to any spiritual entities today god has come in to show us mercy can you read this promise? This is the promise. Last time we read Zachariah chapter 3, verse 1. Can you read it again for us? That the Lord should remove every filthy garment. Whatever we did wrong, our ancestors did wrong, and has placed this filthy garment of dedication upon us. Today, may the Lord in his mercy remove it. Zachariah chapter 3, verse 1, verse 1 to 2. Then he showed me Joshua, the mm -hmm. high priest, Joshua the high priest, before the angel of the Lord, and state and Satan stand, standing at his right hand to oppose him. Verse two. And the Lord said to Satan, "The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem mm -hmm. rebuke you. Is this not a the Lord does what rebuke you?" So now he said the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you. So today the Lord is choosing you and saying that you will not allow the devil to stand at your right hand to accuse you because of a dedication that has taken place hundreds of years without your consent, without your knowledge. This is why people are going through spiritual marriage. This is why witches are having access into our lives. This is why foreign demons, to our spirit, marriage, ancestral spirit demonic spirits are having their way in our lives because there are dedications that has been taking place and we've been dedicated to these fallen spirits without our consent and our knowledge our permission and we are struggling and suffering we are christians all right we are born again but we are suffering again you are born again but what you are suffering again today may the lord by his mercy the god of israel the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord Jesus Christ, may he rebuke that demon. Amen. May he rebuke that strong man. Amen. May he rebuke every familiar spirit. Amen. May he rebuke every Satan that stands at your right hand to Amen. accuse you Amen. because of an evil dedication Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, may the Lord God Almighty deliver you. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name of by, Jesus. The power, by the power in Jesus' name, in Jesus by, name. The power, by the power in your word, in your Word, by, the power, by the power in the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus I, disconnect I disconnect myself, myself from, any from any evil dedication from any evil dedication in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any sins, any sins committed, committed by my ancestors, by my ancestors, my grandparents, my grandparents, my parents, my parents. Against you, against you by dedicating me by dedicating me to an idol to an idol in their ignorance in their ignorance from my mother's bloodline from my mother's blood from my father's bloodline from my father's bloodline today today by your truth by your truth by your revelation by your revelation I hereby I hereby now now disconnect myself, disconnect myself from any idols from any idols I disconnect myself I disconnect myself from any evil authors from any evil authors I disconnect myself I disconnect to, from any spiritual entities from any spiritual that entity. has a link 
that has to link with my life, with my life, control, control, influence, influence and, dominion and dominion over my life, over my life because of evil dedication, because of evil dedication by my parents, by my parents, by my ancestors, by my ancestors today, today by the power, by the power of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, by the Power. The power in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, break I break myself loose, myself loose free, free from evil dedication, from evil dedication. In, the in the name of Jesus I reverse I, reverse. I, revoke. I revoke I disconnect, I disconnect myself, myself by, the power. by the power in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. By, the by the power in the blood of Jesus blood of from Jesus. every demonic entity from every demonic in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I exercise my authority I and I rebuke, and I rebuke every spirit husband, every spirit, husband, every spirit wife, every, spirit every wife, ancestral spirit, every, ancestral every familiar spirit, spirit every family any spirit, witchcraft spirit, every witchcraft any spirit, demonic entity, every demonic any entity, family altar, every family altar in my mother's house, in my, mother's in my father's house, house, in my father's house, that has a covenant with me, that has a covenant through, with evil dedication, through evil dedication. Today, today I revoke, I revoke, I reverse, I reverse the covenant. The covenant, the contract, the, contract, the, treaty, the treaty, the agreement, the, agreement, the, pledge, the pledge, the vows, the, vows, the, oaths. the oaths. I cancel it, I cancel in, the it. Jesus, in the name of I Jesus. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Of my life, of my, life, of my, son, of my son, of my daughters, of my, daughter, of my children, of my, children, of my husband. Of my I husband. break my link with you in the name of Jesus. I'm a, I'm a child of God. I owe you nothing. I owe you nothing. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has, made me has made me a new creature. A new creation. A new creation. A new creation. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. All things have become new. All things have become new. I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of the God. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus places on me. The garment of righteousness, the garment of, righteousness, the garment of, holiness. The, the garment of holiness. Let every filthy rag you have placed upon me to harass my life be removed and be consumed by fire. Be removed, be consumed by fire. Be removed, be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus, every strong man, every strong man, any strong woman that has been harassing me. That has been harassing tormenting me, me, tormenting me, afflicting me, afflicting me, torturing me, torturing because, me because of the evil dedication. Of the evil dedication. Today, today in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I confront you. I confront you. I overcome you. I overcome you. I overpower you. I overpower. I overthrow you. I overthrow you. I supplant you. I supplant in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of I Jesus. I bind you. I and cast you out. I bind you and cast you out by the sword of the spirit. I cut off your head. 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 Die by fire. Die in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die in the name of Jesus. I release myself. I lose myself. I lose myself. I free myself. I free myself from satanic, from satanic, from demonic, from, demonic, from witchcraft, from witchcraft, ancestry, ancestry dedication. dedication. Let the yoke, let the yoke, let the bondage, let the, bondage, let the, captivity, let the captivity of evil dedication, of evil dedication on, my life. on my life. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Say, I am free. I am free from evil dedication. From evil dedication. Say seven times. I am free. I am free from evil dedication. From evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free from evil dedication. From evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free from evil dedication. From evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free from evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. I am free from evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. I am free from evil dedication. In the name of Jesus. I am free from evil dedication. By this truth. 
by this truth, by this revelation, by this revelation, by this light, by this light, I am coming out of this darkness. I am coming out of this. All darkness. my nightmare, all my nightmare, and my misery, and my misery comes to an end today. Come to an end today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Name. I will possess my possession. I will possess my. I will possess my inheritance. I will possess my. I will fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my destiny. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Some of the principles you have to add, add, adhere to, to maintain. The Bible says, when an unclean spirit leaves a person, he goes wandering around. If he finds no place to hide, he will come back seven times stronger. One, make sure you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Make sure you have accepted Christ Jesus into your life as your lord and personal savior make sure you truly know jesus and you are worshiping him in truth and in spirit make sure that you know jesus for yourself two make sure that you are filled with his holy spirit make sure that you have the abiding holy ghost living in you pray that father fill me with your holy spirit three make sure you don't play reading the word of god Make sure you read the scriptures, read the word of God and meditate on it and obey the scriptures. Four, don't play with fasting. When you are dealing with this evil dedication, make sure that the day you were born, find out the day you were born, whether Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you fast at least twice a week, including the day you were born. Those of you who are on this prayer line, you don't have to worry because we are on a 40 days fasting because every week we do Tuesdays Fridays. and fridays including your birthday you are covered make sure faith you are constantly doing warfare so that if these demonic entities want to come back they come and see you praying you can't be lazy with your prayer life you can't be what yeah. lazy with your prayer life and you have to also learn to adapt to midnight prayers those of you on the prayer line you don't have to worry because many many of our uh, services is 11 to 12 and right now it is even 2 o'clock those of you who are watching us from Europe and Europe maybe you have to go back and listen to some of the prayers at your midnight hours and do midnight prayers and begin to enforce that you are disconnected from evil altar and learn how to raise sacrifices to shut down evil altars speaking against you if you do these things you will be okay why? Because you are consistently resisting and opposing them from coming back. Those of you who are committed, connected, and consistent, you are already dedicated to God's altar. You are committed. You are consistent. You are what? Connected to this ministry. We are always fasting. We are praying. We are, reading, we are emphasizing on the word. You are covered. You don't have to worry. You just have to be consistent, committed, connected, and it will be well with you. Those of you who have adapted this committed, consistent connectivity, do so. And you realize that your battles will be eradicated by the grace and the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. If this message curtails to your problem, raise a sacrifice and say, Father, by this sacrifice, disconnect me. Disconnect me from every satanic, demonic dedication. Disconnect me. Let my covenant with these idols, my covenant with these spirits, by my sacrifice at the altar, Father, shut down evil dedications. Because many of these things, it's, it's about blood. It's about spirit. It's about blood. It's about altars. You need to know how to work the altar. Raise a, a, an altar sacrifice. The Father, today, I've heard this message. It is telling to my situation. It's not for everybody. You know yourself. Father, as I raise the sacrifice, silence any demonic entity that is troubling me, harassing me, frustrating me. Lord, I break my connection with this spirit and you connect it to Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 Colossians 2 verse 14 Colossians 2 verse 14 read it read it and as you raise the sacrifice and say father every evil handwriting of ordinances against me you nail it to the cross I'm released from that evil dedication in the name of Jesus Christ and today I want you to anoint yourself and as you anoint yourself you ask the Lord, the Father, by the reason of the anointing, as I anoint myself, I break and disconnect myself from any evil spirit 
that has a covenant with me as i anoint myself even if you can anoint your whole body as i anoint myself i disconnect myself i disconnect my son i disconnect my daughter i disconnect my family from any unclean spirit any demonic spirit that has any link with us through evil dedication i disconnect if you are a firstborn child and you are finding yourself having to go through what i described raise an altar sacrifice and say lord help me to recover and to retrieve my my my, my firstborn right and blessing in the name of jesus christ amen. amen let's take the blood the blood the blood the blood the bible says we overcame by the blood of jesus we overcame by the blood father tonight you have given us knowledge knowledge is power knowledge brings liberation knowledge brings freedom knowledge brings emancipation father as we partake of the communion bring deliverance emancipate by the power in the blood of jesus let the blood separate us let the blood separate us from the evil spirit. Let the blood separate us from ancestral spirit. Let the blood separate us from fallen demons and evil spirits, witchcraft spirit that have been taking over our lives. We overcome them all by the blood of the Lamb. For the Bible says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Father, give us a testimony by prevailing and crushing any demonic entity that is married to us, that is covenanted with us through evil dedication. And Father, as we drink the blood, let the blood separate us from evil dedication in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. We thank God. For the book, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. The title is Spiritual Diagnosis Understanding the Mystery Behind Your Misery spiritual diagnosis it will help you understand some spiritual things so that when you come on you'll not be lost for any offering sacrifice that um, donation do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com we have the zeal we have the cash app we have the paper we have the tightly go and connect it to colossians chapter 2 verse 14 can you read it to us colossians chapter 2 verse 14 make sure you are doing it by revelation and you're saying father as i raise this sacrifice at the altar i separate myself from any evil dedication according to colossians 2 verse 14 and i break myself loose and free in the name of our lord jesus christ amen colossians 2 verse 14 he says having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us which was contrary to to us and he has taken it out of the way having nailed it to the cross mm -hmm. having disarmed principalities and powers mm. he made a public having fest. disarm as you do this prophet direct may the lord disarm Amen. every principalities and disarm powers. every powers Amen. fighting you fighting your children fighting your marriage fighting your finances fighting your program may the lord disarm them Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. and give you total victory and deliverance. No more unemployment, no more spiritual marriage, no more nightmares, no more powers fighting you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Continue reading. Yeah, read. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphant over them, over them in it. Amen. 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 So shall it be. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, our scripture reading is um, how do you call it? Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter. 19, 19 19 matthew chapter 19 is our scripture reading for tomorrow the fasting continues from 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening those of you in u.s it is um 11 p.m eastern time london is 4 a.m europe is 5 a.m join us and your life will never be the same in jesus mighty name for the book and any other information go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com God bless you.